The housing market has been slowing down from its hyper speed earlier this year due to rising interest rates, inflation, and buyer sentiment. But just how much has our Milton market changed? We're gonna get into the numbers right now. The July stats are in, and the average home price in Milton was 1,082,214 for the month of July, which is down 1.78% from June. However, perspective is important. The average sale price is still up 6.4% over July 2021. Not all segments of the market are performing at the same rate. It is important to have hyper local insights and advice to guide you through buying and selling. There are some good opportunities to be had for both buyers and sellers if you have clear goals in mind, and we will explain where we think some golden opportunities are to be had right now. The typically slower summer market is amongst us. However, this year has been significantly slower than past summers. The number of sales this July over July 2021 is down 73%, last year being a record-breaking year month over month. However, even going back to pre-pandemic times in 2019, we're still down by 60% in the number of sales. Many sellers that were still in the mindset of February and March pricing have since chosen to remove themselves from the market and Canadians are no longer being hyper-focused on real estate as we had experienced over the past couple of years during the pandemic. With that, there are also fewer options in the Milton market to choose from, as new listings coming to the market have been declining this summer. With fewer options to choose from for buyers, it has even brought out some multiple offers again. Most notably, there were 18 offers on a beautiful townhome in Milton last week, Keep in mind, we feel it was priced easily six figures light of where it could be selling. It may, however, surprise you to learn that this property took an offer with a seven banking day condition. It will be interesting to see where this lands price-wise if and when it firms up in the coming days. If you would like to know what homes around you are selling for in real time, sign up for our informed seller's report in the link below. The market we're currently in is largely a more balanced climate right now, and multiple offers, like we just mentioned, are no longer the norm, for the most part. What that means is that many sellers are choosing to sell first and then purchase once they know what they've sold for. We're also seeing more people sell and not re-enter the market, and instead choose to rent. This has caused the rental market to be increasingly hot, with monthly rental rates rising and competition fierce. Conditions and offers for the most part are back. This includes financing, inspections, and even sometimes we are seeing the condition on sale being accepted as well. Meaning that if an offer was conditional upon the buyer being able to sell their house, we have not seen this condition being entertained from sellers for several years now. With the right mindset and understanding the current real estate climate, you can transact and make some solid real estate moves that you can enter into with a calmer, more thoughtful mindset opportunities for the long-term buyer are out there. With the dip in prices, you are able to put less of a down payment on properties. With the increase in interest rates, the monthly expense has not changed much with the higher rates and lower prices, but you are sitting at a lower mortgage amount at the end of the day if you purchase today than if it was a few months ago. And in a few years time, when and if rates do go down, you will be further ahead. Not all segments of the market are experiencing the same market conditions at the same time. This July, we saw the more affordable segments of the market being hit the hardest this summer. Condos and townhomes have seen the biggest declines this month with condos declining 8% in July and townhomes softening this last month by 7.3%. Overall, however, the hardest hit segment of the market has been the semi-detached market. Semi-detached homes in Milton are down 30% from the peak, but have now potentially leveled out with a flat month in terms of sale prices this July. This market provides an opportunity for those move up buyers who have built up equity to make a move with more ease today than they had over the last several months. This is the segment of the market we think have some golden opportunities right now. These are buyers who are looking long-term and to secure something larger in a more level-headed, calm, and thoughtful manner to ensure it's meeting their needs and long-term real estate 
goals. The other big opportunity we see today is for those that are looking to create two legal units in a detached dwelling. Creating an investment property and living on site allows you to have someone else help pay down your mortgage while benefiting from these inflated rental rates while also building your equity portfolio and keeping some skin in the real estate market. We anticipate a slow August in terms of sales and listing activity as per usual in the summer. We do anticipate the seasonal upswing of listings and buyers coming back into the market after the summer vacation is over and back to school is underway. If you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, or if you wanna talk more about anything real estate related, we would love to connect with you. You can book an appointment with us in the Calendly link below.